I'm Alessandra with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Alpine Stars Andy's V2 Dry Star Jacket and Pants, available at Revzilla.com. So the Alpine Stars Andes V2 is the latest iteration of a favorite. So the original Andes was released back in 2014 and riders really love it. Now what's really special about this is that it's a three to four season touring option from Alpine Stars, but it comes in for both the jacket and pants at around the $500 price points. That's pretty crazy for a three to four season. Now the reason why it's three to four season is because it's waterproof, it has a thermal liner for both the jacket and pants, and it has some direct ventilation as well to cool you down in the warmer months. Now, would you wanna wear this in the dead of summer if you're not at highway speeds? Definitely not, but this is a touring jacket, so you should be at those speeds. It'll definitely cool you down with the direct vents open. Now, before we get into anything else, with the jacket, a quick note on fit. So Helen to my left is five foot six, 140 pounds with a 34 inch bust and a 29 inch waist. And she's in a size medium, which fits her really well. Now, when I say fits her really well, she was really psyched to try this on because it is, it is the first jacket and pants that she's loved the fit this much of. So if you're looking at the size chart, it's pretty spot on. There's a lot of adjustability in the waist um, and it's just really flattering um, in general. So. That said, if you do have concerns about fit at all, orders over $39 ship for free. And as always, if you wanna see what other options are available, click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's get into the main construction of the jacket and pants themselves. So the main construction is a 600D poly fabric, but you're gonna get Dobby at the shoulders as well as some reinforcement um, through the pants. Now the Dobby fabric is definitely Alpine Star's beefier fabric, has a little bit um, more texture to it. So it's gonna give you a little bit more abrasion resistance in those impact zones. Now, there's also CE level one armor at the shoulders and elbows, and you have an option to upgrade the back protector if you want to. Now let's start at the front and kind of make our way down. So at the front here, you have this nice uh, collar here that actually just pulls back and keeps it open. And again, that's to flow a little bit of additional airflow from the bike and you get a little bit warm. Now, along the front, you'll see this micro reflective here, a little bit more reflective there, so really keeping you visible. But the real kind of showstopper on the front is gonna be these direct vents here. So on the inside of the direct vents, you'll see there's a waterproof zipper. And I'm not gonna show it here because it'll be a little awkward, but on the inside, there's actually a cinch cord. You can pull that and keep these vents open. Super practical when you are at high speeds and you're really feeling warm, it'll nice and cool you down. Now. Another thing to note is I said that this is waterproof. It has a liner in there that is fixed, meaning it is not removable. But what they did was tape it around these vents so that you get that direct ventilation right to your body to cool you down. Really nice touch from them. And again, keeping it around the $250 price point for the jacket is really awesome. Now, along the rest of the front of the jacket, you'll see along the sides here, you just have a nice silhouette. Uh, Helen was able to cinch these down nicely to really complement her figure. And then you have your pockets here um, at the front. Now, along the sides at the arms here, you'll also get some adjustability as well. So you have these bicep adjusters as well as the Velcro strap here and a cuff uh, Velcro as well. Now, Helen, go ahead and turn to the side for me. So along the side, there's that Dobby fabric I mentioned. Um, you have your uh, shoulder and elbow armor as well as some reflective. And then a bit of accordion right here above the elbow. Now that's the only thing that I would have liked to see a little bit more of. There's really no stretch in this jacket. You just have a little bit of accordion right there. Now it fits Helen really well, but I just always like to remind manufacturers that for women, you wanna see stretch in your jackets and pants. It's just a no brainer. It accounts, it, it helps get a wider variety of women into your clothing. So the other thing to call out, all the way down here along the elbow is this laminate. So Alpine Stars says that this laminate gives a little bit more erosion resistant. We don't have any stats from them at the, uh, at the moment, but just keep in mind that's what that's for there. Now, if we go along the side here, you'll see that waist adjuster that I mentioned earlier is to kind of tailor the fit, as well as a Velcro hip adjuster as well. And this is nice to kind of just give you a little bit of additional room. Now, Helen, go ahead and turn to the back for me. So at the back of the jacket, you'll see right at the top here is some reflective. What I really like is that you have the reflective along the shoulder blades here. Uh, that's nice just because usually if you do have like a ponytail, any reflective in the middle is typically covered. So having that span out is really nice. 
And then you have two direct vents here. Now, any vents that are at the back are typically gonna be exhaust vents. So it's not like air is going in, but when you open these out, open these up, air will definitely expel out. Then you have your rabbit pouch here and a bit of microflective with this nice long drop seat. So overall, really classic touring design and fit. Now, Helen, go ahead and turn to the front for me and open up. So on the inside of the jacket is where we're going to see the thermal liner. So what's cool about the thermal liner is that it's actually um, a little bit different from the core to the arms. So the core is gonna be 100 grams, whereas the arms are gonna be 80 grams. And why they really do that is for comfort, right? You wanna keep your core warmer than you need to keep your arms. Also, if you have 100 grams throughout, it's gonna be a really bulky jacket. So they were able to kind of keep this nice look and silhouette, keep you nice and warm by doing that. Now you can always remove that via these zippers here and you have this mesh lining on the inside so that your body's not up against the waterproof liner. Um, and then you have a zipper at the bottom here to connect to the pants as well as some suspenders for the pants and a waterproof pocket. Now if you can open that up too, we'll just kind of take a quick look at the pants here. So. The pants are gonna follow the same uh, principles in terms of construction. You have your 600D. As opposed to Dobby, there's gonna be a 1200D reinforcement from the inside of the knees all the way up to the seat, really giving you some good abrasion resistance. You have a thermal liner as well, and they're waterproof with the direct vents here. You can go ahead and zip up for me. So all in all, there is a lot going on with this jacket. You know, all of those things make it that three to four season touring option. I was also really impressed with the fit considering that they didn't work any stretch into it. So, you know, again, if you're looking for or you're looking to get into something that can take you into most seasons of the year um, when you're riding, this is definitely something to consider, especially around that $500 price point. That's definitely more around that like beginner intermediate price point as far as riding gear goes. So that's just my opinion, but if you wanna see what other women have to say about the Alpine Stars Stella Andy's V2 Dry Star outfit, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and see what they're saying in the reviews at RevZilla.com. If you wanna to speak to one of our lady gear geeks, give us a call at 877-792-9455 or shoot us an email at cs at RevZilla.com. Thanks for taking a look at the Alpine Stars Stella Andy's V2 Dry Star jacket and pants. I'm Alessandra, I'll see you on the road.